Thank you for joining us for Community Link. I'm Caroline Mays. A national nonprofit organization focused on educational and humanitarian efforts, Top Ladies of Distinction is doing great work right here in Indianapolis. To tell us more about Top Ladies, we have joining us Marsha Wells, the Area 5 National Director. Welcome, Marsha. Thank you. Thank you so yes. much for the opportunity. Absolutely. So glad to have you. So you all are doing such great work. So tell us when Top Ladies of Distinction was established and what's the mission of the organization? Yeah, so Top Ladies of Distinction was established in 1964 in Tyler, Texas by eight phenomenal women trailblazers of their time and as a matter of fact the last living founder lived to be a hundred years old and she just passed away last week oh wow so we had the opportunity to have her in our presence oh. all those years that she's been with us and just there mentoring us as well the mission of the organization is to enhance the lives of youth and adults in our community through our projects and programs so who are your members? What do they look like and who could become a member? Our members are women from all walks of life. We have women from all different types of professions, from educators, engineers, the legal profession, public officials, and many more. And in order to become a member, you just have to be sponsored by a member. Oh, that's neat. Okay, so anyone could become a member if they're sponsored. If they're sponsored by a member and they have a heart for community service and love for uh, mentoring youth. That's important. That right? is very important. Okay. That is a key focus of our organization. So that's what I was going to ask. What are the focus areas of the organization? We know youth is one of them. And then how... Yes. how do you help youth? I want to talk about youth because that is our number one thrust. Okay. Top Teens of America. If you haven't heard about Top Teens of America, then I, I want to share it with you now. It is our major focus to mentor our top teens, to help them to learn leadership skills. They start at can start as early as age 13 and they go all the way through their high school years and okay. until graduation. Our, our second thrust one of our, I'm going to say one of our, but our second thrust is uh, supporting the status of women. Uh, another one is enhancing the lives of senior citizen. Another one is uh, beautification. So we want to make sure we're out there keeping America beautiful. And our last and final thrust is community partnerships. And this is where we have the opportunity to partner with all the organizations that are focused on service within our community. And that includes the March of Dimes, uh, in, in CNW, National Council of Negro Women, the UNCF, United Negro College Fund, and there's many more. So you mentioned that the teens or the youth were, was your number one focus. How do you help them? Oh, that's wonderful, a wonderful question. So we provide leadership opportunities for them. They have, we are structured as an organization, we have officers and committee chairs, they have the same exact positions. So they learn how to lead. They learn how to conduct business meetings. They have different roles in which everyone serves and they have the opportunity to learn and grow in those roles. They participate with us as we volunteer in the community and they're rewarded for it because they are able to receive recognition for all of the great work they do and they compete and have fun activities, but they also have scholarships that they are able to acquire throughout the years. That's so great that you all are doing so much to help teens. You have a big event coming up that will help make sure that the work that you do continues, right? Yes. Tell us about that event. So the Indianapolis chapter has their annual Jazz Brunch fundraiser. And so that fundraiser, the profits from that go towards the organization's program, so it helps us to have funding to go out into the community, but it also helps to fund scholarships. And that's really where we want to make sure that we have something to reward our teens after they've been in our program for so many years. So when and where will that brunch take place? This year's brunch is going to be June 2nd. It's on a Sunday, but it's going to be at the Rich Charles up in Carmel. But thank you for so much for the work that you're doing. Is there anything else that Top Ladies has coming up? I think you have a conference coming I up, I sure right? do. I okay. cannot wait to tell you. The Indianapolis chapter is hosting the 2025 regional conference. It's an area conference, and it's my conference. Okay. And so along with the Indianapolis chapter, I am responsible for uh, the Midwest region, the states of Indiana, Ohio, Kentucky, Michigan, Western Pennsylvania, and all the chapters will come together and conduct our business, enjoy the fellowship, and receive leadership 
workshops and just have a good time together. So that'll be next March. Well, you're a busy lady. I Congratulations thank on you. all that you and the top leaders are doing. Thank you so thank much. You. Thank you for the opportunity. And thank you for joining us for this week's Community Link. To share this story or learn more, head to wishtv.com. We'll see you next week.